And the situation in the northeast is still dire and more humanitarian assistance is needed to help many in the IDP camps. And joining us is the executive director of Oxfam International, Winnie Pianima. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. Now, what is your main mission here in Nigeria? You know, the world is in an unprecedented situation where we are on the brink of four famines, one of them here in this country, in the northeast of Nigeria. 4.7 million people are in severe food insecurity. And of these, 43,000 are in near famine conditions. So I'm here really to bring attention to this situation that could escalate into a much worse situation unless there's action and action fast. Indeed. And we know you visited Maduguri. Tell us what you saw there and other areas. I visited Maduguri. I visited some of the people in IDPs and, visit and living in host communities. I had opportunity also to visit Woza and Puka, which are towns that have been made recently accessible by the military. The military is pushing back quite successfully mm -hmm. in a number of towns and people are able to move into them for safety. What I saw are many people fleeing the Boko Haram held areas, coming to these areas, but people in severe need, in need of food, in need of shelter, in need of water, in need of medicine, in need of safety, and there's not enough. We need to get more humanitarian assistance because the need is huge and starvation will not wait. When people lose all their capacity to cope, we are going to see an escalation that is exponential. So we need action what and do you think, need action yeah. Where do you think this help, this action will come from? Is the government incapable of handling it alone? This problem is of huge scale that the government of Nigeria needs the international community to support. But of course, the ultimate responsibility is for the government of Nigeria. But the international community cannot stand by and watch mm -hmm. as people starve. People are already dying. We have committed, as governments all over the world, the right to food, the right to life, to end hunger. So nobody can stand by and watch this happening. All right, you, you just uh, highlighted these challenges, but what is your group, Oxfam, uh, doing about this? Oxfam, as an international organization, humanitarian, we are there. We've been moving into newly accessible areas very quickly. We provide water and sanitation, we provide food, and we provide hygiene kits and try to prevent the spread of epidemics. But more is needed. For example, in Polka, where I went, in Polka, I found that the Medicine Sans Frontier mm. uh, Medical Center, people are gathering there, and I found people who'd been there for three months sleeping in the open. A man and a woman and their child sleeping in the open for three months because they haven't found shelter yet. This is unacceptable. Mm. The world can't stand by and watch this happen. And the government of Nigeria must also step now, up. Now, talking about the government itself, what about the uh, local government authorities, the state government? Mm. What has been your relations with them in uh, trying to help out? We work very well with state officials. For example, we in the water and sanitation area, we work with Ruasa's Oxfam, but we find that their capacity is very weak. We are supporting them, trying to help them build their own capacity as mm. we provide water mm. to communities, opening up water. I saw women who were shedding tears, mm. mentioning that for the first time in 18 months, they were getting clean water near their homes. So the situation is acute, but the situation has been quite dire for a long time. Indeed. This has been a slow onset crisis that could have been prevented. Okay, tell us a bit more. Let's dwell a bit more on some of the complaints coming from um, these IDPs. They say, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, but teach him to fish, you feed him for life. Um, how about uh, empowering these IDPs with even more skills that after their rehabilitation, they're able to fend for themselves? Any plan, any process like that on ground? We are now in a situation of an emergency. 
we need to have an emergency response to stop people dying. Okay. So first, emergency response kicks in, food aid, shelter, water, the basics of life, shelter. But indeed, you're right that we need long-term solutions to this problem. And the problem has been growing over time. Because even before the Boko Haram crisis, mm. this region of Northeast Nigeria was the poorest region, was poorer than other regions of Nigeria. People were already in need. So it is important that support is given for people to have dignified lives, to have sources of livelihood, to have public services. These things must kick in and I would really urge the government then indeed to make development more equitable in the country so that the wealth of this country reaches this part of the country. All right, on that final note, we'd like to thank you for being a part of the news. We've been talking with the Executive Director, Oxfam International, Winnie Bianyima. Many thanks for your company. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. All right, we'll be right back after this break. Stay with us.